New documents produced in the House of Commons show that the federal government's new plastics registry will cost $7 million to set up. And that's just the beginning of the ongoing costs. Today, I'll tell you why I think it will cost way, way more. We have uh, recently switched to drinking uh, water bottles out of uh, water out of uh, when we have water bottles uh, out of a plastic, uh, sorry, away from plastic towards uh, paper. Canada has an unscientific, unconstitutional and, in fact, illegal ban on single-use plastics, relegating the inert and convenient hydrocarbon to the deadly Schedule 1 chemical list alongside lead, mercury and asbestos. In addition to the war on plastic, which is really just a proxy war on the oil and gas sector, the Canadian government is implementing a national plastics registry. The feds want to know how much plastic is produced, used or imported across the entirety of the Canadian economy, from agriculture to textiles, transportation and construction, packaging and even fishing. Yes, they want to count the nylon fishing line in this country. And now the Canadian public knows just how much it will cost to register our plastics like their handguns. The data was revealed in a government response to an order paper question posed by Conservative MP Warren Steinley from Saskatchewan. According to data provided by the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Stephen Gilbo, the cost for the feds to collect data for the registry is $7 million. $294,154 projected over five years to establish the registry. Then the registry will cost another $600,756 each year subsequent for maintenance. Now, I predict a cost of roughly 10 times higher. Here's why. Let's never forget that the Liberal government told us long ago that registering our firearms in Canada would only cost $2 million. Ultimately, it cost $2 billion before the long gun registry was thankfully tossed into the dustbin of history by the, at the time, newly elected conservative government of Stephen Harper. We can also look at a few more recent examples of liberals publicly predicting one cost, which was conveniently much lower than the actual tally. Look at this in the National Post. Internal documents in 2019 put the cost of a government mandatory gun buyback at nearly $2 billion, despite assurances during the last federal election that expropriating so-called assault rifles from licensed Canadian firearms owners would only cost between $400 million and $600 million. And now, after years and years of telling Canadians that the Liberals' inflationary carbon tax on literally everything in this country would put more money in people's pockets and cause some sort of green renaissance in the economy. Uh, Mr. Polyev continues to refer uh, to the federal carbon tax, which is a price we've put on pollution to make sure that pollution is not free anywhere in this country. And the way we chose to do it was to collect the price on carbon emissions, including on gas, and giving that money back to Canadian families. New documents released by the government show that the carbon tax is going to carve about $25 billion directly out of the Canadian economy. And that's for no net benefit, of course, because even if you agree with the unsettled science that carbon is somehow the thermostatic control of the world's climate, Canada is such a minute contributor to carbon emissions that vaporizing us from the face of the earth wouldn't make any difference in the grand scheme of things. Now, we also must point out that the federal government managed to take a private sector pipeline initially proposed at $5.4 billion and suck it into the bosom of the government just to puke it back out for an overdue and over budget cost of $34 billion. Okay, so now just think about how much plastic is in your life. It's a lot. It's so ubiquitous that you don't even notice it all. So if I had to venture a guess, I think it's going to cost 70 to $100 million for Stephen Gilbo and Trudeau's garbage-counting weirdos to tell you how many plastic sandwich bags are hiding in the kitchen cupboards of the Great White North. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. The war on plastic is really just the war on oil and gas, and the war on oil and gas is the war on you, and it's being done through the Great Green Reset. To sign our petition against the Great Green Reset, please go to nogreenreset.com.